Okay, so for this event emitter problem, uh, we have an emitter class, and then the emitter can subscribe to event names with the callback attached to each event name, and it also creates a subscription object. Uh, we see that the same event name could be subscribed multiple times with different callbacks, and each subscription is unique. So that means the subscription object here it's not unique to each callback because the callbacks could be duplicated here. So then to emit the event, the emitter sends an emit uh, with the event name with the arguments. And then each subscription object also have a release method to remove it from the emitter. So we definitely source some sort of a caching system to keep track of all the subscriptions. All right. So because of that, we have some sort of caching system. Let's call it subscriptions. Descriptions. Right. I'm gonna make it private uh, for some tech purposes, and then so for each event name, uh, we will say if this event name it's already in our subscriptions, right, then we will do this dot subscriptions event name push because we're going to initialize a array of one subscription if it's not inside but if it is already inside I already have array established and we're going to push some subscription I'll leave this blank for now Oops. All right. and then else uh, then the subscription uh, event we'll have to make a new subscription the subscription will be here so to make this simple, let's just make a new subscription class. And inside, we have to keep track of the event name of the subscription is attached to. Uh, and then also the callback. Okay. Cool. And then, so for the constructor, we can say you give me the event name, the callback, uh, all the complete, and then the name, and the callback. Uh, but this keeps the subscription object a bit clean. And remember, the subscription object, which is this, right? We need to have a release method that release it from the cache. Also, this also means that we need to also yeah, know what the subs current subscriptions are. So let's just say do, 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 subscriptions the spell here and this the subscriptions the subscriptions and I'm underscore because I think it's a private to this object. Yep. Okay, let's now implement a new subscription. So we can now create, actually I can create it here. We can create a new subscription. Right, a new subscription with the subscription cache, uh, the event name, and also, well, and also the callback, right? And so, Okay, we push the subscription if we were to inside, else we create a new array with the subscription as the first element. And now that should be it for subscribe. Actually, that's not right. We need to also return the subscription after we start adding it. And now emit. So we call the event name and we apply the arguments to the array of subscriptions here. So it will be the value of the subscriptions cache. So what we can do is say for or this dot subscriptions dot event name and here if subscriptions event name right, it's empty or it's not sorry not empty if the name is not even inside of the subscription we can just Ignore it. 
do this just to be safe. Um, just we can, we don't care. But then else, we know that the array is populated, so we're gonna say for each um, subscription. All right, so each subscription, we're gonna call the subscription callback. Um, Make a new method here. Maybe this would be overkill, but maybe we can click callback with its uh, args. Yeah, let's just say that. Huh. And then I'm going to invoke it with the arguments. Cool. So there's nothing too special. We can actually even just change it to public and call it to just make it semantically nicer. But uh, for me, I just like to make it everything look a bit neat and pro properly encapsulate things. So we can invoke this method, so that should be it. Um, what else? Oh, release, okay. So. Basically, we want to look for the subscription inside of the array and then delete it from the array if it exists. So to do that, we can iterate through the subscription. So for, um, just going to do a native, native array iteration. Do, 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 do this, the subscriptions, dot embed name, dot length. Well, I guess here we also want to check um, if the subscription is inside. Actually, if you can create a subscription, let's just assume that definitely is in the cache because you have to include it in the cache first before you can even get a sub subscription object in this case. So let's just assume it exists. Um, So we have the array. This um, callbacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I call it subscriptions. Oh, this is a bad name because this half because the value of this cache is the list of subscriptions. Oh, okay, I guess I have to deal with this naming for now. Mm, I don't like it, but if I could rename this, to make it this not distracting, let's just call values. What has been done has been done. these values, right? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird, but the subscription is going to be at this value. And we can check if the subscription is equal to this, right? Because this object itself is a subscription. And so I'm coming to see if this object is the same object that's calling released. If so, I want to say, okay, um, delete this, so splice the index 1, so remove uh, index i, one element from index i, and then we could return here, um, because this should only be, should be one reference, yeah. So we can actually premature in here, but that should be it. At least uniquely, um, if we can guarantee the subscriptions is unique, right? Else, else we, we just let the loop keep going. Um, but I think this should be fine. So we submit. Oh, emit should relay parameters. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. I 
guessing it's telling me I should do this. Splatter it. Splattering all of these places. Ooh, need a name. Sorry about that. Here. Should release splice. It's not a function. Of course, it's not a function because it should be values. Oh, nice. Cool. I guess I'm going to set up an email <laughs> address. But yeah, that's it.